As we travelled across the length and breadth of Kerala, one thing has become very, very clear. Two issues that people of Kerala will have in their minds as they go on to vote will be law and order and corruption. And that will be a very, very difficult challenge for the Congress to face. It's 10 p.m. at Urumbidchola in the high ranges of Kerala. And braving the rain, Congress supporters are waiting in anticipation. Umman Chandi arriving to drum up support as he leads the Congress campaign for re-election. Striking a chord with the crowd, Chandi gets into full gear to target his opponents. <laughs> But Chandi's day is not over yet. From Udumbin Chola, the Congress mascot is heading towards Munnar for another rally. It's quite late in the evening, uh, almost midnight. Uh, Kerala Chief Minister uh, Oman Chandi has completed about 10 rallies. He'll further be attending more rallies. Uh, Chandi Sahib, we have seen in Kerala, almost always there is a rule that one party after the other comes to uh, rule. It's either the left front and then the Congress. That way, uh, you uh, seem to be at a disadvantage. So this time, that will change. The UDF government will get another term. The people are ready for that. The people are accepting the UDF's program, development and care. Especially in the last leg, you know, in the past, uh, say, 12 months of ruling, there have been a lot of controversies which have hit your government, whether it be uh, concerning your alliance partners, whether it be considering uh, the corruption cases against you, the solar scam. This is not the recent thing. This all started from the beginning itself. See, in uh, three months, I, I got a, a three months uh, time for breathing time. Then they started agitations, uh, raising uh, allegations. But you would agree that somehow, you know, um, the Hindu community, especially the upper caste and uh, the OBC communities among Hindus, felt isolated uh, among your uh, when during your reign. When we go to the details, each issues, the important uh, postings, important positions, and uh, everything, when we take into consideration, then this uh, allegation is not correct. But the brutal rape and murder of a 30-year-old Talit in Perumbuvu has touched a raw nerve in Kerala. With the police failing to make any headway in the probe, patience is running thin against the ruling coalition, against a crime that is being viewed as Kerala's Nirbhaya. The state highway being blocked by people, protesters who are out there on the streets of Pirambabur. 
the anger over here is palpable. It's been weeks and no arrest has been made in this murder and rape case. Clearly, this incident will have its repercussions in the elections also. The horrific crime at Perumbavur has put Uman Chandi in a spot. But one thing that I could see today when I was coming through this direction where that unfortunate incident uh, of rape and murder of a girl happened is a palpable anger among people there. In Kerala, some isolated incidents are there. But uh, that is not the general nature of the situation. But the Piribavur incident is a very unfortunate them, the unfortunate one. We are quite sure we will uh, fix the culprit and uh, the law will take its own course, no doubt. But on the campaign trail, the left democratic front is pointing at the failing law and order under the UDF. People of Kerala realize now that only by removing this anti-people UDF government, a, a, a progressive development of Kerala would be possible. Therefore, the mind of Kerala is now reverberating with the idea that we have to remove this anti-people government and we should bring back the LDF government. Out of power for five years, the CPM-led LDF is hoping that the Malayali voters would stick to its tradition and vote the incumbent out of power. The LDF campaign is led by senior CPM leader V.S. Sachidanandan, but it's still not clear whether he would head the government if his party is voted to power, because the CPM has gone into the elections without declaring a chief ministerial candidate. The CPIM finds itself in a state of flux. Its senior most leader, the 92-year-old V.S. Achyudanandan, is still the party's biggest crowd puller. This despite Achyudanandan openly challenging the state and central leadership of the party, which had pushed him out of party activities in the past couple of years. But now in election season, V.S. is back for his ability to pull the crowds. His straight talk and mannerism still remains a big draw. Yet, going into electoral battle, the CPIM too falling for the lure of celebrity charm to attract voters. Actor turned politician Mukesh riding the red jeep through Kollam and justifying his decision to take the plunge into politics. From an actor, to being a politician, like, uh, do you think that the people of Kerala, the, the, the people of Kerala, you know, that they are very politically conscious voters from age old days. So, do you think uh, actors, celebrities, will be more accepted uh, in this uh, in in Kerala electoral? Yeah, that that day should come. That that is see relevant. Now, see, uh, in case of in my case, I am not a celebrity coming from up. I went from down. I I was a uh, my grandmother was a cashnet worker, factory worker. My father was a communist. I come from a communist family. Uh, nobody can tell me that I am only a cinema actor. I am, I, am, I am a cinema actor coming from a political family. Sonia ji, aapki ye himmat, aap bayan de rahi ho. Yet a churn in Kerala politics is underway. Having long been a bipolar battleground, God's own country is welcoming a third combined. If one looks at the contemporary political history of Kerala, a clear pattern emerges. The ruling party never comes back to power, which would mean that this time perhaps the LDF would naturally come to power. But one should not hazard that guess because of a resurgent BJP. Always a thorn in the BJP's flesh, Kerala has remained out of bounds for the Saffron Party. The BJP is yet to open its account in the Kerala Assembly despite having the backing of a strong RSS network. This time though, BJP's planning for Kerala started quite early in the Delhi headquarters. Amit Shah pulling off a minor coup when president of the SNDP was roped into the NDA. We support anybody especially. We support all the parties. 
कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी एंड कांग्रेस नॉट सपोर्टिंग एस दैट्स वाई वी सपोर्टेड बीजेपी सो डू यू थिंक द इरवा कम्युनिटी विच कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स ट्वेंटी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ द स्टेट वुड बैक दिस अलायंस आई मीन द एनडीए अलायंस विच कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स बीजेपी एंड दीडीजे बीडीजे इज एक्चुअली नॉट ओनली फॉर दीरवा कम्युनिटी is all hindus and muslims and christians are in this party we are all together and we'll do wonders in kerala natesan belongs to the obc eravas constituting about 15% of kerala voters who are traditionally seen as a left vote bank but with the 100 year old yerava community group sri narayana dharma paripalana yogam floating its political arm the bharat dharma jana sena If a sizable chunk of the Yerava voters actually vote for the NDA, it could alter Kerala's political equations. I am joined by M. G. Radha Krishnan, the editor of uh, the network. Uh, M. G. R. When you look at the developments which are happening, uh, there is it's always said that you know after one party, the other front comes in. Uh, so by default, won't an analyst be kind of driven to believe? that this time the ldf is going to win clearly what has actually sort of uh, turned uh, the 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 situation to a kind of a complete uh, uh, dicey state of affairs is the emergence of bjp and its alliance with the bdjs you know uh, it would be the left which is going to suffer more because of this the emergence of the third front going into polls bjp2 is bitten by the celebrity bug with new entrants including cricketer srishan launching into the political arena there are a lot of youngsters as i've been with you for a couple of hours are uh, quite supporting you do you think this support that we see on the streets will uh, become a uh, big turnout into votes and uh, you will perhaps make it surely uh, it's it's a great sign uh, hats off to modi ji for having the belief and it's great to be a part of a party which has got uh, uh, you know faith in all the all the people in kerala especially after yesterday's um, speech by modi ji there's been a lot of change in one day and you can see in the last two months which we have been doing campaigning and there is lots of people coming and joining bjp suresh gopi arguably one of the superstars of the malayalam film industry is now a full ticket member of the saffron fraternity The last leg of the campaign saw Prime Minister Narendra Modi pushing the NDA bid, directly challenging the Congress. Sonia ji, आपकी ये हिम्मत आप बयान दे रही हो कि मोदी हम पर झूठे आरोप लगा रहे हैं, मोदी हम पर झूठे आरोप लगा रहे हैं, मेरे प्यारे भाइयों बहनों, क्या मोदी ने, या मोदी सरकार ने? एक बार भी पिछले दो साल में हेलीकॉप्टर के भ्रष्टाचार में कभी भी कांग्रेस का नाम दिया था नाम हिंदुस्तान में किसी ने नहीं दिया ये तो नाम आया है इटली से The RSS, BJP, and other parties taunted me to shame, to shame me for my birth. I was born to proud and honest parents. I will never be ashamed of them. While it was always suspected that there was an unspoken understanding between the BJP and the Congress in Kerala, just to keep the left at bay. This time around, not an inch was spared, as seen in the confrontation between Chief Minister Chandey and Prime Minister Modi. It is very painful to all the Malayalis all over the world. So we want to um, give the details of that incident. The entire thing is, is uh, fabricated. Oman Chande looking to reverse Kerala's rotational election trend. BS Achyutanandan seeking perhaps a final shot at power. And the NDA hoping to spring a surprise if its electoral arithmetic holds. Kerala became a separate united state exactly 60 years from today. 
but what happened in the past 60 years is the politics has always been bipolar. There's either the communist-led left front or the Congress-led UDF. Now, as we travelled across the length and breadth of the state, one thing is clear. A third front, the BJP-led NDA, is here. Coming up on the other side, the battle for Puducherry. Puducherry, India's little France, is gearing for a triangular contest on Monday. The 2016 assembly polls here in Puducherry are going to be hotly contested just in terms of the number of candidates. Back in 2011, 187 candidates stood for the election, while this time around it's a whopping 350 candidates vying for 30 seats. The fight once again is going to be between the two major blocs, that is the AIDMK and the DMK Congress Alliance, who will look to topple the current government run by N. Rangaswamy and his party, the NR Congress. Puducherry's longest serving Chief Minister, N. Rangaswamy, has a formidable challenge on his hands. While in 2011, Rangaswamy broke away from the Congress to form his own party, Five years later, he finds that many from his party have jumped ship and are now in the Congress or the AIADMK camp. Mr. Uh, N. Rangoswamy is known as uh, Makkal in Mudalwar, that is the people's chief minister. He is a pretty popular uh, 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 political leader in uh, Pondicherry. He has been the chief minister before as well. And uh, people over here generally are, uh, like his humble attitude and the way he comes himself to uh, campaign for his candidates in every single constituency. Mind you, there are 30 constituencies uh, in all in Pondicherry and the NR Congress are contesting in all 30 of them. How uh, confident are you? How confident are you? How confident are you? How confident are you? I am the NR Congress. 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 Rangasamy is wary of the AIADMK, which is looking for revenge. The AIADMK is now contesting in all the 30 seats in Puducherry and has not forgiven Rangasamy for abandoning Jailalitha's party after contesting the 2011 polls in an alliance. One Sandarpo or the Kotanye in the third Lila Maurgal Amekamal Makale Mutum Nambi Tanit Tamil Tilum Puducherry Lum Nangal Nangal Theodal Sandikindom or Archi Matrate. Makal or Archi Matate in the Gurumu container Nangal Manbumu Ama or Ludia Tunayode Mupu Satamanda Togililum in Rekin Angal Tanit, Terdil Sandikin Rom, Barring the Terdil, Makal Engel Mid in Ambike Vete, Anitin the Anadol of Muneta Karate, Neche Mahavakari Parkal. He may be seeking a fourth term as Chief Minister, but there are signs of disenchantment against him. VAT and the hike in excise duty on liquor, along with the end of tax holidays, having led to industries moving out and the jobs drying up. He 
He may be banking on his one year connections. But with parties like Pattali Makkal Kachi also vying for the same vote bank, the fight for Puducherry may go right down to the wire. Can People's Chief Minister N. Rangaswamy continue to bank on his popularity vote or will the AIDMK prove their might here in Puducherry? While the DMK and Congress Alliance will look to storm back into power. Catch all the updates on Monday 2016 only on Times Now.